Hi everyone, welcome to my showcase video of my calendar project using Authentique's the calendar collection for country craft creations. I'm really excited to show this with you. It's a, a little different than what I thought of doing at first, but I love how it turned out. Um, this is an easel box, so here's the top with January all set up. Uh, permanent, on, permanent on the top of the easel is this black piece so that the calendars kind of stand out. So this is January, it will clip on. So I have this set up for January. I will have all the other months, but I'm not going to show you uh, live those. I will take pictures and add those in. Uh, what's unique about this is that you can change these out to suit the month. Now, uh, I love the blue. This is a uh, graphic 45 roses some beige flowers, sparkly flowers I had in my stash. This bow is permanent with this vintage button, but the flowers and these elements here all come off. And they're held on by magnets. So I can switch this out for February's elements, as well as change out these flowers. I can change out all of them. Oops, that one came loose. But, see how this comes off? And we have the magnets there. I'm going to use these for February, I think, and maybe change out the roses. So that's those. Be real careful on this one. This can't, the, where it's paper on the back, uh, the magnets are so strong that sometimes they pull the paper off. So I'm going to re glue this magnet on that just came off and let that dry. So just peeled a layer of the paper off, put plenty of glue. I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to let that dry. So I'm going to open this up and show you. First of all, this is an easel box. So this lifts up. It's going to be hard to show you on the camera. And it stands up. Oops. So it stands up when it is sitting down flat, of course. So that's how it looks. So that's the easel. I can't bring my camera up any higher the way I have it set. So I don't want to move that. These are also replaceable elements. So I have it for uh, January right now. This pulls off and I switch it out. Now this background will stay the same. So we're just going to have to go with that. I use the June for my box and my album. Which bring this back down. The album, the calendar book album is inside this easel box, which I did reinforce with a band on the back. Now what you see is the a spine of the album here, not this piece. I will show you in just a minute. It wraps around and reinforces that. So this has a pull, so you just pull the box out carefully because <laughs> it got pretty heavy. So I kind of push it and pull it out. So this sets apart. I put this on back here to keep this uh, box sturdy and straight. Otherwise it kind of uh, slid side to side because it didn't have any anything in the back to support it. So I added this support piece right here and I'll show you that in the tutorial. So I'll set this aside right quick. This is the calendar book. Keep your Decorating really flat here on the front of the book. This is glued down. This piece is glued down. This is all from June. This little floral piece is from the May papers. So this is a pocket so you can add pictures or more cards or envelopes if you need to. This opens from the left as a uh, flat. You could probably put a picture here if you wanted to and also maybe one on the other side. So I haven't decided on that. This opens back. So here we have a large pocket for all our months. So here's February, March, April, May, and June. So six months goes here in the front. We have the one stamp from the collection for each month. And so the adventure begins. I believe this was from the June collection. I added some trim. If you move all your pages over, you have the other six months in this pocket. So we have a, this album has six page sets. Um, each month has a pocket to hold cards and tags that can be also used on your um, easel if you want to clip some more in, like if you want to bring in on your January, you wanted to bring in one of your 
tags. You could clip it here on the side, clip it in up in here, whatever you want to do with your elements on your box. Switch them out. If you wanted to do magnets, you could put magnets on the back. I'm not going to take all these apart because I'll show you in detail in the video. Each one has a card. You could probably add more than one. You could add one or two. If you don't want a lot of tags, you could just put cards. So each page is decorated for that particular month. Each has two tags and one card and then some cut aparts. So you flip this over. There's your February. Lots of different elements in here. I do share the decorating as I'm doing it. I'm not necessarily on how I make each element because it's pretty basic. You just cut it from the paper and mat it to whatever you want to mat. But I do show you uh, assembling them onto the page. Here is March. April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, and December. So lots of fun elements and things in this book. Mine is extra thick. You don't have to make yours as thick. I like lots of trim and bows and charms. I resisted putting flowers in because that would make it just way too thick. We have the half inch space between each page and each page does have a pocket. So if you've purchased, I'm not decorating these, but I have cut them down. You can put into your pocket. These are the eight by eight blank calendars. You get thir there's 13 in a package with this collection. You can order this separately from Authentic, and I trimmed mine down to fit inside of each pocket. So it will go down like that, so you have a little bit of white sticking out. Um, I am not decorating these right now, but that's what can go inside that, or you can you can mat photos on the back if you want. Um, I didn't want to cut up the collection I wanted the whole picture of the January, but you can cut up different elements and handwrite your title if you want to, or use stamps or whatever you may have to do this and leave it blank and then add in the dates yourself. So you can extend this project for a couple of years by using these blanks and using the others that you have. Uh, so this works really well. You should be able to at least put two each, one for each month. So January and February would go in here together and then I will have two for each month all the way through. So that is the calendar book. Folds up like this. And the easel box. And it's actually easier to get in and, than it is, or it was, than to get out. So I just slide it in. And I have a storage place for all my elements and my cards. And I have this pretty box where I can change out every month. Thank you so much for watching. Check out this collection on countrycraftcreations.com, uh, an online store that I'm designing this for. This is the Authentic, the Calendars collection. I use black artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. I used art glitter glue as my adhesive. And check for other supplies like your seam binding ribbon perhaps flowers that might match whatever month you're working on, uh, button twine, just different elements on the store, and then find lots of things from your stash that you can use on your project. Have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching, and check out all the tutorials are available on my YouTube channel under a playlist where you can keep them all together and easily find them for you when you're working on your project. Thanks. Bye-bye.